Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Novel's Gadget Review Channel. Today, I'm going to review... Actually, first first of all, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I ask just like, share, comment. Uh, if you want to support my channel, go to patreon.com slash 9 If you're a Patreon member, you can easily find me. Just search the number 9-M-A-L-L-S. And you can support me on a dollar and up, so I really appreciate that. I, I really do. And it allows me to buy more products and better products. So definitely go there if you haven't already. You can also become a Facebook fan if you're become or if you're watching this on Facebook. All right, so this is kind of a funny product. This is the Cooked Bacon Better Above the Fat Not In It Mac and Bacon. And look at that. So Abby right there is the inventor apparently. And this is kind of a retro product. I don't think it's an as seen on TV product. But it is molded in America with pride. I'm not sure if it's still molded in America, but Macon Bacon, they have their phone number, in case you want to try it. Try calling it. It says, hi, I'm Abby. When I was eight, I invented the best way in the world to cook bacon. Then my dad and I went to work and made the Macon Bacon dish. My mom loves it because it's so much easier. My dad knows the bacon is healthier. My little sister, Kelly, doesn't care she loves the bacon. Please buy it, try it, and tell others. Dishwasher safe, cool grip handle, fits in all microwave ovens. Cook bacon better above the fat, not in it. Simple, load it, cooks the bacon quick. And so what I've noticed with these things, um, you're still running into the issue. I mean, I've reviewed several microwave bacon products, some better than others. This one, just looking at it, it's gonna splatter in your microwave, so probably gonna take longer to clean up than you know a pan because um, you're gonna have to be clean up the microwave and then also there's different pieces there's cleanup in a pan you just kind of pour the grease out and you clean it up and so I think what sometimes with, with these things these products what seems like a time saver is actually not really a time saver but let's see you know maybe I could be wrong could be wrong it's always possible all right so here we go you have the twist to remove it says and then you have these little see just looking at a picture like that just remove and then you put these little it's kind of cool I mean it's a good idea I will definitely cover this because I just I can't stand microwave items. I mean, the point of putting something in the microwave is not to then have to clean it up. And I just noticed with a lot of microwave pr products, that's what happens is the cleanup process takes longer than the cooking process. So I'm just going to clean it off some, with some light detergent. And uh... okay, so the, the year was 1996. So it's quite old. I was gonna guess 90s. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. All right, so I have some bacon. And it's just kinda Greenfield, natural meat company, no antibiotics. Uncured, no sugar, thick cut, smoked, uncured bacon. Funny, it's like the uh, the bar of what is considered quality, or what people are looking for, is always moving. You know. Humanely raised, gluten free, pork raised, but it's like, how do you know? Sounds good. How do you know? All right. So these are quite large pieces of bacon and the ones that they show in the picture hang perfectly and they don't touch the bottom. So this looks like some good bacon. It was actually, um, one of the less expensive bacons. I think that the price range is, uh, bacon's definitely got up in price, but it was like, I think the lowest price is like 
five bucks. This was like a five dollar package, and then it went up to like ten bucks. Let's just do a full bacon rack. We'll have some extra. I do do you like bacon. I don't have it that often, but bacon is one of those things that. I mean, you can add it to anything. You can put it in your eggs, you can put it on your burger, you can put it in your salad. You can do so many different things with bacon. And it doesn't take much to add, you know, a lot of flavor to anything. You can put it in chili, whatever you want to do. All right. So, I don't see an instruction booklet, which is unfortunate, but uh, I'm just going to... I think I'm gonna just put it on about three, four minutes, take it out, see what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna cover this thing with paper towels, because I do not want a huge cleanup. So I'm gonna do that, put it in the microwave. I like that it has a handle, and here we go. Excited to see how this turns out. All right, so just to make sure it doesn't splat everywhere, I put this, this is a little microwave cover. This is from, I think, Nordicware. These things are cool, work great. If you're cooking in the microwave. So there we go. All right, it's been in the microwave for three and a half minutes. I'm gonna take it out just to check it. And yeah, the paper towels are pretty soaked. Mostly steam, some grease. Uh, looks like a little bit more. I would say one more minute. All right, I don't, I don't wanna overcook it. It is looking pretty, pretty cooked. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's mostly steam. There may be a little bit of grease, but you can see the paper towels, all that steam right there, grease, steam. So definitely, if you do find this thing, load it up with paper towels on top and maybe weight it down with a bowl or something. But look at that. Um, not the most appetizing looking bacon I've ever seen. I would say in a pan is always, always looks better than this. I think this kind of looks lifeless. But how does it taste? That's the most important thing is how does it taste? Because it's quick, quick bacon. All right, so here we go. And all the grease did go down in here. So cool design, it worked. The handle is, you know, it's not hot or anything, it's actually pretty, it's almost room temperature. All right, so here we go, three, two, one. Making bacon, how did it taste? How does the bacon taste? How does it taste? Here we go, three, two, one. Yeah. That's good. I mean, it's like chewy. It's not like crispy bacon that you get in a pan, but yeah, you really, I think, I think bacon's one of those things you can, you can put it in the oven, you can cook it in a pan, you can put it in your air fryer, you can put it in the microwave. There really isn't any wrong way of cooking bacon. It's kind of like, uh, I feel like corn on the cob is kind of like that. You can put corn on the cob in the grill, you can put it in the oven, you can put it in the microwave, you can boil it, and corn tastes great. It tastes like corn. It tastes perfect no matter how you how you cook it I think bacon is kind of the same way my favorite is a pan you know cook it in a pan and get it get it nice and crispy but um, if you're looking for a microwave product I think you know for bacon I think this is one of the better ones this is a thick handle and it's a it's a good quality plastic you may not be able to tell it's, I mean it looks basic but this is this is good quality plastic and it's not warm to the touch I'm not getting any weird smells coming off of it like some microwave products um, so yeah, I think the Making Bacon, if you can find it, it's definitely a retro product, a retro kitchen cooking gadget. But let me know what you think. Have you tried this thing? I think it. I think it's a it's a winner. So definitely don't spend more than I would say if you can spend around ten bucks. I don't think it's worth more than that. Um, I have a feeling it'll probably be closer to fifteen. But let me know uh, if you can find it. Let me know, or if you've used it in the past, let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, I'll see you later.